G'day folks. Well I was hoping to do a nice little tear down on a uh, high pressure injection pump tonight but I was greeted with an interesting message in my inbox. Actually two of them. One of them is the original front load washing machine, uh, the Whirlpool one where the drum ran away. And the other one was the heavy metal remix from um, that Trady Trev did for me. Both of them have been claimed by Splay Networks. I don't know who the fuck Splay Networks are but they can burn for all I care. This content is my content, and if you can exploit YouTube's claim system simply by copying, obviously they must have copied, or some, one of their partners must have copied a part of my content and then gone, oh, I want to put ads on this guy's videos because he's getting the most hits from them. Doesn't YouTube compare the date stamps from the videos that Splay's network and partners have to mine? Do they even bother at all? Because it's just beyond me as to how the date stamp thing could get past them. I've got the first one. The date stamp proves it. My backyard proves it. YouTube only has to look at my backyard and a number of other videos to see that it was filmed right here. That's kind of an advantage of having a common background. It's really easy for people to identify where stuff's done. I won't have much trouble um, turning this over, but this is just showing a blatant exploit in YouTube's system. I'm going to look up Splay Networks and see what, who they are, and if I can find some details, I'll post links in the description. It could even be a false network. It could be a fraudulent network. Hell, I get a million requests each year to join different networks, and I haven't clicked on one of them because they all want, just want a piece of the revenue, and their network page has nothing on it. They don't even have a link to any of their other um, so-called partners. So, nah, these, it started originally last... I think it was last year I had a couple of videos uh, denied monetization or claimed by, I think it was Music Rights Publishing Group or something like that, which turned out to be a fraudulent group that was going around um, putting copyright claims on video audio so that they could make money. This looks like a same, the same thing happening again. So, yeah, it just basically says you're no longer monetizing the following video. It's still playable, but the copyright owner could choose to show ads on it. This is a fraudulent network. Beware. If someone tries to claim your content and you're absolutely sure that you own all of it, even if you don't own all of it, make sure that the network that's claiming it does. Because chances are they don't. And they're just trying to get a piece of your pie. So, uh, yeah, be very careful of this sort of thing. I'm going to take them right to the cleaners if I can. Thanks for watching.